and this is Mike from Too Busy Gaming. I am reshooting my first video because the first video was kind of a test and I'm reshooting it to make it better. Again, I'm going to be focusing on that same computer again because I wanted to do it right. Hope I'll be able to replace my old video with this one completely so that will be completely gone. We'll just have this video here. Um, again, this computer I built as a test to see what I could do with it. The whole point of building this machine was to provide me a slight gaming machine for my uh, TV in my living room, and this thing actually accomplished that really well. I had these other things here as a size comparison. This is a uh, HP small form factor. As you can see, it's a lot smaller than the case that I, the computer that I built, but it's also a lot more expensive than the computer I built because it is all um, proprietary hardware inside this this thing. This is the Xbox One, and as you see, the Xbox One is wider than my case, but the Xbox One is also a lot more narrow. So the Xbox One does is a lot smaller than my case, but this case does fit really well in the television area, which is the reason I built it. I built this thing because I wanted a low-powered, low-priced machine for the TV. This thing cost about $320, and it actually has played games really well. I'm going to start with a video of me playing Portal 2 off this machine, and I, during the video you'll notice I go into the uh, graphics settings to show you how it runs. How I'll have all the settings maxed out, and this thing does not actually have a video card in it. I'm using the A8 550 Trinity 3.2 gigahertz, which is actually which can run at 3.7 gigahertz with turbo enabled, which I have not done because I want to replace the uh, stock heat sink with a newer one before I start running turbo. It has the uh, DirectX 11 HD 7560 integrated graphics on it which has done really well for me. I have yet needed to add a extra video card to um, increase performance for my games. So I'm gonna start with the video now of the game. As you see, this is a Steam thing I built. The whole point of this was because I wanted to use the big picture mode in Steam, so that's what I built this for. Alright, as we'll see here in the settings, I have everything set to either very high or high. I never run anti-elasion because I prefer more crisper graphics, so when you enable anti-elasion it makes things kind of fuzzy. <laughs> so that's the reason I never use it. And it does take a hit on performance when you enable anti-elasion pretty much on any graphics, so I just never use it because I it doesn't bother me having the slight jagged edges on certain things. I prefer the more sharper images rather than the fuzzy ones. As you see here, the game is running really well. Again, no dedicated graphics card, just running the integrated graphics on the A8 processor. The A855 Trinity actually does have a higher-end graphics than most of them, most of the A8s. But that's why I go for the Trinity. I mean, it's not that much more expensive than the uh, lower-end A8s, and you get the better graphics in integrated inside the chip. You will notice a little bit of skipping in the video. That is actually the capture. That does not have to do with the computer itself. The computer runs fine. Okay, here I am sitting down with them, I'm getting ready to open the case. This is the part that I got cut out of the last video because I forgot to turn on the microphone when I was doing this. So I'm going to open the back of the case, take out the thumb screws. I'm 
Now, one thing I love about this case is it is light. It actually has a handle on it too, so you can carry it around, which is nice. As you can see, the only thing I've added to this thing, other than what I purchased specifically for it, was this uh, Audio Sound Card. It's a card I've had for years. I only added it because this uh, internal motherboard does not have 5.1 surround sound, and I prefer to have 5.1, 5, 5, 5 so I added the Audio uh, to give me the 5.1 option. As you can see, it's got HDMI, DVI, and VGA out on the board. This is a Gigabit GAF2A55M. It cost me $49, which is actually really cheap for a motherboard, and you might think that because of the price point, it's going to be a kind of a not-so-good motherboard, but with Gigabit hardware, I've never had an issue with them. My first one that I have bought from them, which I bought back in 2001, actually still works. All right, this is the Audi card. You can see it actually sits kind of big inside this case. If you do want to add an um, extra video card to this thing, you have to make sure it's small enough to fit in there, because the case is a bit tiny. It is a... Um, a Piva XQ pack comes with a 420 watt power supply. Power supply did die three days after I got it, but luckily I had a few extra sitting around, so I dropped a 500 watt here and some running fine. I've never been a, too big on cable management, so you see my cables are a mess. I mean, honestly, I don't open my computer cases, so it's not like it's that big of a deal. As long as I have enough um, airflow in there for everything to breathe, right, I'm fine. As typical on every motherboard, you have all your uh, Front component connections, your hard drive lights, your power buttons, your re re reset switch, and everything along those lines. The ones back here are your audio for your front ports, and yeah, the audio for your front ports. The uh, there's also USB and FireWire on the front, which I have connected. Unfortunately, one of the USB ports on the front does not work. Not a big deal to me. I really use them. My only thing I have in the front of this thing is a uh, blue Bluetooth dongle for my wireless keyboard. Again, yeah, my case is a mess with wires, so. Hard drive, 250 gig hard drive from West Western Digital. It is a blue. Blue is tend to be a little bit more low power, but not as low power as the green, because the green runs at 55 or 5400 RPM, and the blue is running at 7200 RPM. And I always go with the faster hard drive for my gaming machine, but I don't want to go with the blacks because they just suck down the power. Only one that I have blacks on is my main gaming machine because I have two of those in a RAID. I have uh, two 500 gigs in the RAID, and it, the performance is nice, especially when, load, when load, loading up games. I mean, I had like no loading time when playing uh, Bioshock Infinite, so. Alright, this is my the RAM stick here. It is a Crucial Ballistics 4 Gigabit. It was 6490. I, you generally, I don't go that expensive with a single stick of RAM, but I wanted something that would have a little bit more uh, resilience to the heat because I knew this case would get a little warmer than most of them because it is a smaller case so I wanted to have something a little bit more expensive because I knew it would have the heat sinks on it to uh, help with the heat. This is the processor. I'm running the stock heat sink. Um, it is a AMD A8 5500 Trinity 3.2 gigahertz with a 3.7 gigahertz turbo. It runs at 65 watts, which is the exact reason why I went for the A8 rather than the A10, because the A10 runs at a, it's either 95 watt or 100 watts or maybe even higher than that. But I didn't want to use that much power because this thing does not need to use that much power because it is just a light gaming machine and just for streaming like Netflix and stuff like that when I'm not playing games. Now, if I ever do decide to enable turbo on this thing, I will replace the heat sink on here. I just got to make sure I get one that's small enough to fit in here. Now, if you look at the case, you might think, it is really hard to actually get things inside of here. Think about how did I install the uh, heat uh, the processor with the case the way it is, because obviously there's, nothing, there's no room above it to really do anything. Especially when you add other graphics or anything in here, because power supply is directly above it. Now, the way this case is designed, this is actually on a tray. The whole motherboard is on a tray. Now, to remove the motherboard tray, you will have to disconnect all your ports or all your uh, accessories on the side because they are short. So if you try to pull this thing out with this connected, it will break them off. I'm gonna pull this tray out here. And that is how you access the motherboard. This thing does slide out a little bit more, but I still got my hard drive connected and everything, so I'm not disconnecting that. 
All right, again, I have been very pleased with this machine. Um, for $320, it's done really well. I mean, I'm playing Portal 2, maxed out, minus the anti elation I play Left 4 Dead 2, co-op. I mean, for a $300 machine, this thing does really well, especially when without a graphics card. I will eventually add a graphics card probably when the um, new versions of anything on Source come out because this thing is basically a Steam machine for me. And my kids are being nuts again. So, I mean, but other than that, I mean, Right now, this thing does exactly what I wanted to do, and it was cheap, which is great, so. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, I'm going to plan on doing one of these every week. I'm not sure what they're all going to be about yet, but something we, we want to do. Um, I know I'm not the only one doing videos. Josh has been doing videos now, and Justin should... I'm thinking Justin's going to be doing one here soon, too. And um, I know if you've been watching our streams, you've noticed that there's another guy involved. His name is Robert. Uh, we actually have known him for a long time. We've known him since middle school I think so I mean he's gonna be there with us I mean there's four of us now there's probably gonna be more we all have our wives so I mean they'll probably be involved too so hope you enjoy our videos um, we're gonna keep doing them um, if you have any suggestions or criticisms please let us know because we'll we'll take anything we can to improve ourselves because we're doing this for you not for us I mean I don't see me making a video just because I want to I see because I'm trying to you know, help other pe people out there, you know, get better with building computers and understanding that there's much cheaper ways to do things rather than going to HP or whoever and spending like 12 grand on a computer when you can build one for a lot cheaper. That's why I tend to like to do these hard hardware videos. So, um, there's going to be more. i um, probably doing one here soon on my main gaming computer because it is a beast. Um, it's actually still a bit older, even though it still plays every game out now, because I'm actually still running a Phenom on that thing. I haven't um, gotten a new motherboard and processor. Once I do that, I'll be running the FX series. I'm probably not going to put an A, um, an APU inside my main game machine, because I'm always going to have the secondary video card in my um, game machine, so I'm not going to want to have a part of my processor not even being used. So I mean, I'm just going to full power for the gaming and everything. So. Um, again, hope you enjoyed it. Give me more. I'll